Hello everyone. I have to admit I was very nervous about this first flight. In fact, I taxied up and down the runway about six times before finally getting up the nerve to make this first flight. I installed a high-tech gyro in it, but for this first flight, I had that turned off. The airplane had quite a bit of left in it when it lifted off, as you can tell by the quick left turn. After a couple of rounds, I had it pretty well trimmed out with 10 clicks of right and 6 clicks of up elevator, and it was good to go. For this first flight, I had set my timer for four minutes and was getting close to that. So I came around for a landing and discovered that my nose gear had not dropped. I have no nose gear. I attempted to keep my nose up and angle towards the grass and almost made it. Fortunately, only a small scrape and no damage. So on to flight two. I discovered that the nose gear had hung up on the opening of the fuselage. I trimmed an eighth of an inch off and was ready to go again. I was real concerned about how much power I had, but this takeoff where I ended up in the grass and still got off told me that the power on the plane was adequate. I didn't use the flaps on my first landing, so I thought I would check to see how they reacted at half throttle. That is full flaps right there at half throttle. Much to my surprise, 8% down elevator was absolutely perfect. Just flipped my gyro on medium setting. Boy, that stabilized it a lot. Wow, that makes a lot of difference. Boy, flights go fast when you're nervous. <laughs> I'm down to 103. I'm going to make a pass and drop my gears. This time the gears work great. Well, I think I need a little more practice on landings. My third flight was by far the best with a good takeoff and landing. I even did a couple of rolls that it handled very smoothly. But all in all, a really good first day for my beach bonanza.